Let me share a couple of stories and then I'll get right into it. When I was dating and met a few who I thought were a good connection for me at the time. Um, and then something happens. I don't see this person anymore. And I finally catch up to the person like, whatever happened? What happened? And he was just, Carlos, you're too nice. When I saw something on my own, I saw something and I knew that I could do it. And then I see it with the relative again. And I said, I can do that. And there was such a hard, no, you can't. No, you can't. Stop being crazy. I can do that. No, you cannot. I said, I believe I can. I believe I can. Well, stop believing. And I said, how do you want me to believe in God? Some, something, somebody I have never seen before. But I have seen with my very eyes twice so far, and I know that I can do it. But you don't want me to believe that. How is that? Let me go through it. Carlos, Mr. Sensitivity. Oh, I got called uh, Dr. Mojo. I said, man, he said, Dr. Mojo's in the house. I said, I kind of like that, man. So maybe Dr. Mojo. I don't know, man. I keep getting all these nicknames. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I kind of like it. All right. Let me get right to it. All right. Um, uh, Self-sabotaging yourself. And uh, all that is all sorts of uh, toxicity. Okay. And the world glamorizes um, toxicity. They glamorize it. I told you I read this script or I was in this role where I'm like, this just is not real life. But we soak up this stuff and make it real life. And, um, and that's doomsday for us. Okay. The media pumps that up. You know, media pumps be pumping that up. You guys got to pay attention. Like, I know this takes a lot of work and energy, but it pumps it. But then it's going to be more work when you have to just dig yourself out a rut and get prepared for the next rut that you're about to fall into. Anyways, it's that take control that take control mentality. You know, when you watch all this stuff and, um, you know, in, in TV shows or movies, you see the person taking control in a very toxic way. And we think that, well, it worked in the TV and we it worked in this show. So, okay, this is, uh, this is childhood trauma. Okay, uh, it's the subconscious mind um, trying to protect. And once that uh, protection kicks in, that's when the toxic behavior uh, starts. <sighs> so it does this behavior, this toxic behavior, by trying to fill the void, the void that you have by projecting it to others. Look up child attachment. Okay. How you keep treating others will catch up to you. The sooner you recognize where it came from, how it started, the better you can train your mind. Okay, some may say, well, Carlos, I don't know how or why it happened. Well, for now, work on the smaller toxic issues and then do what I did. I went online. Uh, one of the first things I searched was uh, self-awareness and um, videos online search. <laughs> okay, and uh, something will hit you. For me, it was child attachment. And there will be something to hit you like now you got some work to do. But let me say this. Is there ants in my car? I'm sorry. Let me say this. Discipline. Has to happen. I wish I had my y'all don't hear me. I wish I had my Baptist uh, uh, voice on. Y'all don't hear me. Discipline needs to happen okay it has to happen I don't care what you said very convincing you sound very convincing I'm affected by the words that you said my word is my bond that's all I have is my word 
I don't know if that works for you. So it needs to happen. No, this doesn't work. <laughs> no, this doesn't work. That's, that's like gym. I hear that all the time in training. No, no, this ain't going to work because it hurts. That's how it was for me. It hurt. Hoyt. It hoit. I was in darkness and it was taking me further in where the dark was gray. You know that you, you can be in such a darkness that the black turns this. I forget what it's called, but it turns gray. That's where I was. Okay. You go through it because I mean, I'm, I'm tr even though I'm tired and I probably I don't know. And I've been through some stuff. I'm good. You know. Okay. Now. Now then. You're going to have urges. Once you start working on this stuff, like as what I'm going through now is urges. Well, I'm a lot better. These urges, you know what I mean? It just feels so comfortable. <laughs> but you, you need to learn to say no. Not, not, I'm not, I'm not going for it. And people who talk are kind of like, Carlos, just say no. I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not going to do it. I was, the last one was, uh, he berated me in front of everybody. What? <laughs> I know better. I know better. I know better. Okay? All right. It, you have to say no once you get those urges. No. That's training the mind. It's hard to break down our subconscious thoughts about ourselves. Pretty. She hurt me. Not real, so break boundaries. It's so normalized, and people are like, oh, that's okay, that's okay. It's just stuff that is uh, crossing the line. But once you tap into that subconscious mind, it's normalized now, and that's very difficult. Where we are accepting something that is crossing the boundaries, but when you say, I was hurt, or I don't feel pretty, or something like that, I didn't feel pretty at the time, then we're like, okay, I understand. What messed up a lot of uh, my relationships were my subconscious mind. I already planted that protection for me, which is false protection. I was trying to protect myself from feeling any pain or hurt because it was terrible. But what was more terrible was the longevity of what I thought that was normal for me. But it's not normal. It was breaking me down inch by inch, a marathon, okay? But what I was doing was I was always setting up for the woman to leave. I was always expecting her to leave. I was giving her that chance uh, to leave because that's all that was happening in my life that is all that people fed into me that should happen in my life and that's the only way that I knew to succeed was for the woman to leave me and that is not good oh I'm not good enough for you you know what you can find somebody better I was doing that because First of all, I wasn't used to, um, well, it was what I was settling with also, but at the time, I was not used to um, anybody, longevity. I wasn't anybody used to anybody in for the long haul, good, bad, happy, or sad. Um, you know, I was not used to that. And, you know, that first, first time, of course, but the first five, ten times when like, okay, I need to start protecting myself. Okay, let me share a story. It's about Vivica Fox. <laughs> okay. Um, my friends who were around, um, they said, are you ever going to share that story? Like, anyways, I found the perfect time and place to share the story, okay? Uh, uh, I was at this restaurant. Rock bottoms, rock bottoms, not, not any of us. Uh, it wasn't our thing. OK, I was with two couples, me by myself. OK, and um, so sitting there and I'm trying to go through the menu. And first, one of the friends 
uh, the girls said, um, like, is she looking over here? Like, with, like, she keeps just staring over here. And now, so the two ladies are talking. Like, wait a minute, she's staring at Carlos, isn't she? Because I was, I'm kind of like off to the side, you know, since I'm by myself, I'm off to the side. And she's like, Carlos, this girl is looking at you. Or this lady's looking at you. And I don't know what they up to because they always up to something trying to get me to do up to something. Up. So um, they were like, do you know her? They, they just kept on it. So finally, I like, look, and I put my head back down. I said, that's Vivica Fox. Who? <laughs> that's Vivica Fox. And not by the way. You know, oh, she sent a drink over to she sent a drink over. <laughs> anyway, but. It wasn't my thing. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't my thing. It wasn't my thing. Did you ever, did you ever? No, it wasn't my, it wasn't my thing. It wasn't my thing. Okay, anyways. So, but at the time, my subconscious mind was working at its best. And I was really just looking like, is there something wrong? Like, is there something wrong with me? Like, and I kept asking like, hey, do I got a, like a booger in my nose or something like that? And they're like, Carlos, like, what are you going to do? And I just kept like, is something wrong with my shirt? Like, what is she looking at? And they were like, the, the husbands was like, dude, she's looking at you, man. And I'm like, why? And the lady's like, Carlos, with no interference from the husbands, Carlos, you're the finest guy in here. And the husband was like, yeah. And... My subconscious mind would not allow that because I only thought of myself as handsome during performing. But when it came to me just being me, I was not right for anybody. Too nice. So that's my little Vivica Fox story. I never, I'm not, not, my, not my thing. Not my thing. All right. I wish you guys well.